The episode you're about to watch is a sample episode from our member exclusive section. So we now have a uh, member section for our website where you can support our channel by subscribing. You will also get access to member exclusive content. If you guys enjoy the content that you're about to watch, become a member. We really appreciate your support. Thank you. All right, welcome to an episode in the Rails Foundation series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be introducing you guys to the concept of state machines using the Rails uh, Active Record built-in enum. So this is uh, made uh, possible with the stateful enum gem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to copy this line over here, uh, and then I'm going to put it in the gem file, uh, and basically, ju yeah, just put it in like that. Uh, and then do a bundle uh, to install the gem. And then uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you guys uh, how to, um, you know, how to set all of this up. So in our post model, we've already set up the, uh, the you know, the status. Uh, and so what we can do is, you know, if you look at the documentation, it's very simple. Um, we can have events and we can have like before, um, you know, before like transitioning from one state to another, do a certain action. Uh, so, for example, in our case, we're going to have an event called publish. So, do end. And the event is going to be publish. And in the publish event, what we're going to do is bef uh, after do end. And then basically self dot published at equals uh, time date time dot now. So basically, basically, it's going to take a timestamp of whatever the time is at that time when when it, this code runs, and it's going to um, you know just save it into the field, uh, and so basically then we have the transition. Uh, so transition, and basically we want to transition in this case uh, from the draft to published. So let's try this out and see what happens. So I'm going to go into the console over here, do a Rails console. And then basically I'm going to load up a post. So post equals post.find11. So yeah, just load one of the posts. And so this post is right now in the state. Um, so post.status. It's currently draft. So what I'm going to do is post.publish. And so you'll see that it did two things. Uh, let's let's take a look at the uh, field. That, that, let's take a look at what happens. So post reload, and you'll see that um, now um, you know it 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 changed the state, but it did not. Uh, so I think I forgot to do a uh, self dot save to in order to um, you know to save the change for this part over here. So let me do an exit real quick, and then do a Rails console again. And po uh, load post equals post dot uh, find twelve, and then we're going to do post dot publish, and so you can see that um, you know now so post dot reload, it's now published the post. So now if I do post dot status, you'll see that it's also um, you know saved this uh, field over here. So now the published at timestamp has already or also been made. Um, so now we have. We changed the state, and we, you know, we we saved the 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 timestamp for the published at field. Um, so, you know, a state machine can provide very nice syntax for this sort of action where you want to change, like for example, if you have a a ticket system where you you track bug, uh, you know, you someone could report a bug, and then basically it could be in one state, and then once you know a developer works on the bug, then, you know, they can say, okay, it's currently in progress. And then when it's complete, then, you know, it's uh, completed or whatever. So a state machine can be used for all kinds of things. And it's a very foundational thing. And I find myself using it in, in all kinds of, uh, you know, scenarios. Uh, like, for example, what we have here is one uh, very good example uh, of uh, how you could use a state machine. Um, and you can do, you know, all kinds of other stuff, you know, it, it you know, take a look at the documentation. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Um, so in this case, what I'm going to do next is, um, I'm going to, uh, you know, enable, uh, so now that we can do, uh, you know, we can have the publish the post, uh, what we need to do next is enable that from the interface. So when we create a post, 
by default, it's already going to be draft. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we only need to display, you know, on our landing page, only the published posts. So let's take care of that first. So I'm going to head over into the controller over here, uh, the post controller here. So now we're already uh, doing, you know, uh, order by updated at. So in this case, we're going to change this. We're going to do uh, order by published at. And it has to only be uh, the post that has been published. So if I do a reload over here, you'll see that most of the posts has disappeared and we only have the post that we have published over here. Um, and you know what we can do now is because we have a published ad field, we can add some kind of timestamp to show um, you know when the, the the post was published. So we can go and do something like this. So here I can add a, uh, a meta tag. Uh, well, not a meta tag, but a, a P uh, for uh, metadata, and we can do something like this. Time ago in words, and then uh, post.publish at ago. So now if I do a reload over here, aha. So what, what's going on here is that um, certain posts, you know, may not have um, the published at field set you know, uh, because, you know, of the before we implemented the state machine code. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to do post dot published uh, each do um, post. And then I'm going to do post dot published at equals date time dot now post dot save. So just to, you know, uh, fix that those nil um, nil fields. So if I do a reload now, um, you'll see that it says less than a minute ago, uh, this post was published. So th this time ago in words can be very handy to like, if you need to render something like this, um, you know, to, to keep things like readable and nice. Um, so yeah, this, that's going to, you know, wrap it up for this episode. We implemented a very simple state machine into our post model. And uh, so basically we can now publish things. Um, but the next thing we're going to need to do is allow our, from our admin interface, um, you know, to uh, basically when we create a post, when we edit a post, uh, if you will, uh, we can actually transition, um, you know, the post into different states. And so in the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to do that, uh, you know, from the, the using the view, the forms and stuff like that, uh, how we can switch states uh, in our state machine. All right, guys, it's going to wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next one.